Esta entrevista es patrocinada por Style America, la revista especializada en moda de zapatos, bolsos y accesorios. Lo invitamos a conocer más sobre la revista en www.revistastyle.com. From the raw material to the final shoes and bags, uh, five years from here, from now, I hope to come here and you will confirm. Brazil will be number two. Means uh, I have uh, learned, uh, a lot, I have uh, listened to many concerns of all of you. Of course, uh, leather is uh, a commodity and uh, has the problems of commodities like oil and other, other things. I would like to tell you that uh, you have uh, not only commodity, so you have fantasy, you have uh, expertise, uh, you have fantasy in uh, art, uh, you have fashion, you have the market. And uh, this can be one of the best place for designer to move. Because uh, I know designer that go in other places in the world, I don't mention uh, all of them, but uh, I am sure that uh, if I ask some designer I know, over 10 of them, five will say tomorrow, not tonight, they come to Brazil. Because uh, it's also a lovely place, uh, the surrounds, uh, and the, the energy of people, and they uh, always welcome. So, don't worry, generally. Okay, in the earth, many countries, many people will have problem uh, changing, moving. If you are from Brazil, I would be scared. Just be yourself, be stronger, be better, and don't uh, be afraid that you will be the number two in luxury. And also other things, because if you concentrate and stay in the middle level and think, think that uh, only um, closing the country is, is good, to close the country to uh, in time, uh, uh, short times, but allow time to grow to your uh, industry, a lot of time to um, grow in design and then uh, gradually opening it you understand that uh, uh, Brazil competition will not be there because uh, Italy, the Italy is more expensive, top level and uh, much more expensive then you go in the medium level, local market uh, will appreciate more the local things if you import merchandise is different so I would be that scared going back to my presentation the time otherwise uh, will be shorter and it's a general uh, story from the beginning uh, and uh, I hope uh, some of the other bunnies, I don't talk uh, about only uh, production, uh, supplier, tannery, shoemaker, shops. I, I hope uh, each of you, depends uh, where you are at, can find a solution for each, because it's a chain. In Italy, it's impossible to uh, tell 30 years of my uh, story. I, I, uh, I'm 49, I work the, uh, from 90 years old, so uh, 20 minutes a little too short, but I, I try my best. Leather luxury and high fashion is the argument, but what is the meaning of leather luxury and high fashion? Let's start from our past. I live in Florence, Italy, that for many centuries has been one of the centers of the world of arts, beauty, culture. Florence, since the uh, 14th century, is one of the top locations for leather tanning and leather goods production, so more than seven centuries. The cost of those items was uh, a civil height. Luxury has been always a civil height. At those times, it was uh, very important to wear exclusive leather goods and clothes in order to show the level of the family and to compete during the parties and the ceremonies where all were dressed in the best ways. Many top artists and artisans came to Florence to show their ability and to get jobs in specific corporations. Artisans were looking always for perfection, details, exclusivity, to, to, to satisfy their customers' expectation that was very high. To learn a profession, they usually needed a life, starting very young, usually 10 years old, 12 years old, with a top professional teacher, a master, maestro. As their customers were very exigent and powerful, there was no room for mistakes, or for professional, uh, not unprofessional people. Only perfection was allowed. 
This for me was the real start of luxury in fashion. Also now, in luxury, there is no possibility for imperfection. From the quality of material to the highest details of manufacturing, with extreme attention to perfect fit. Of course, those times, everything was custom made for every customer, so the fit was uh, made for every person. Arriving to more recent times, after 1950, in Italy started to begin Alta Moda, following French haute couture. And also ready to wear began to be important. This allowed to Italy to start his strong fashion industry that nowadays is the leader of luxury high fashion production. And luxury leather products demand exploded only later, I would say beginning of the 90s, as almost all the fashion brands added leather goods to their collection. This is very important if you think about the biggest brands, except some that I don't mention. They were not producing shoes or bags Somebody were making something, then they added all the leather goods because it's very profitable and brings customer and makes value and image. And the competition for me was uh, the boost because uh, all the people that came to Italy, top level, they bring competition and this competition created more value. I'm talking about the luxury. So luxury is not a problem now. It's uh, after little times, now it's always better and better. So, all these brands uh, recognize the value of top letters. Top letter means quality and need to be paid. Top tanning. And their designer could require the producer, to the tannery, to the factories, the most sophisticated version of them. Thanks to this past and recent history, we are now here with all this background. Arriving quickly to nowadays, uh, getting better and better thanks to the strong design experience uh, and now to the new technologies, uh, we never forgot the rules uh, and never compromised with quality. Passion and love for beauty are so important in our strong culture in fashion. Many things change in time, but made in Italy design and quality, more than ever, is now outstanding. Of course, expensive but also perfectly integrated with marketing, never forgetting attention and care for little details. These are the essential ingredients for the success. Italy is not the only country in the world to produce top quality leather and leather goods, but it's probably, I say probably because I'm Italian, so the best one. <laughs> Other new top emerging economies are now stronger in the leather world. Qatar came, and you all know where production moved. As we are guests of this wonderful country, I just want to make the example of Brazil as one of the top new entries to play his role in future luxury fashion world. Brazil fantasy, taste, love for colors, artisan and industrial capability are outstanding, and its products are appreciated and will be more all over the world for their own taste and quality. Thinking about our future, the real difference is when a country, and Brazil could be a perfect example, will have a strong own capability to study and turn new letters, design new products with special international taste, have many more of their own strong and famous designer to allow factories to produce their special finished leather goods with exquisite taste. Of course, it is the collaboration with Italian tanneries, Riesa, will be much better for both because uh, uh, it's different to, to tan in a place uh, near to the market. The reason is that to be near to the market, to the designer, to the total process. Quality is the best when you can, can control uh, totally the full process of a product, starting from the raw material arriving to the shop shelves. This means uh, quality, special design, top products, and gives to markets a strong reason to buy and keep buying from specific countries, and usually from specific brands. Not only for the cost, often bought very volatile as the currency often changes a lot from season to season. Fit, quality of materials, best structures and top manufacturing, time to market, easy and fast order rules, expert marketing, 
efficient production processing and uh, in-kind deliveries are all part of the final result. All quality process uh, for me starts uh, and probably ends uh, with a collection strategy that includes everything. Collection is from my idea in my mind to the final consumer everything. So the collection strategy, if you can understand everything, you can uh, lose money or gain money, waste uh, everything. As you, you, you know, the experts know what I'm talking about. New collection means uh, future orders, but what else? What is the hidden part of collection? Innovation. Innovation is the capability to think what is not there but which is already perhaps very near to us. Every person in the company should be listened, everybody should contribute to the innovation process, but this can happen only where management and company's owners are open to listen and filter those ideas. To new ideas and proposals, we should never say, no, we cannot do, we don't work. How many times I've heard this from my, I was 60 years old, or was, uh, this is not your job, uh, we always made it another way. Just not replying to proposals is the biggest mistake. We should always thank people for the new ideas they give, and always stimulate their fantasy, and take out their deep passion and energy. We should be open to new ideas like babies are learning in kindergarten. Every new color, object, sound is exciting for them. Of course, from ideas to industrialization of prototypes, there is a long way. But we should never be afraid of innovation. If you think that to do change is better, just do it. The ability to put together things, find new solutions, and stimulate customers with trends requires strong energy and needs the right surroundings. All the system around innovation needs to stimulate and help it to spread all over. This means companies that want to be in real fashion need to push as more as they can creativity and innovation in order to create inside and outside their organization what is needed by the fashion world and what finally will arrive to the final consumers. A collection is not only the work of designers, modernists, buyers and fashion coordinators. The collections need to be perfect, to match what customers will wear. That is not exactly what they, will, what they want, as usually new things are created but not needed yet by customers before they are in the market. It's the Apple idea, it's the concept. Create something that uh, people inside need, but if you ask them, they don't even know what you're talking about. That's why industrial development is so important. The teams working around collection need a special attitude, very rare, very difficult. This is a theory, okay? In practical, almost uh, impossible. But if you can produce that, is the energy, is an atomic energy. The thinking is circular, not stopping one specific area, mind, or department. Design, cost, marketing. Financial, who's the most important? Most important. All think to be the most important, but only all together they will win. This circular is can be two seconds, a minute, no more. But the energy created is like that one in uh, in Switzerland, in Switzerland, the the sand is uh, unbelievable. If you can experience it and the gen generate and direct this energy, uh, you can really boost your company and change everything in the best way. There is a science for that. It's not easy, but first of all, companies need to realize that they have a strong need or may have not a strong need for that. The actual market and competition are stimulating the best to find new ways to keep going and grow. Rethinking the whole process from ideas to collection, production and distribution is a must. The whole system need to, needs to be perfect, faster. And all the investments need to be well allocated. There is no room for waste as there was in the past. Suppliers and customers are one, are one thing altogether. All need to work the same purpose. Relationships between them are so important and their coordination in innovation and collection process is the real power that can create the best energy. The longer is the relationship, the better for all. 
Essential is also to achieve, it's like a bomb that is more than 40, to get me a couple of minutes more because otherwise it was in tuck, 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 you know, we have to watch there and uh, I, it, the time is going. So we take 20 minutes more. Essential is also to achieve the slowest turnover of workers in the production chain. To learn how to make luxury, you need not less than 10 years experience with great masters. And you need to stay in one specific department only. Reallocating those workers to other industries, uh, department to another, will lose all the experience made in these years. That's why districts are so important. If a company closes, you go to the next, and you leave to the surroundings and the expertise in one area. From the other side, those are the most usual mistakes. We combat relationship with suppliers, customers, or workers. Waste of material, late deliveries, wrong or not appropriate products, wrong marketing study, and many other waste of money, energy, and time are cutting brands growing or contributing to their fall. Much of what was right years ago, now is not good enough. How to separate what should keep going in, as in past from what should change? Not difficult, not easy. Only human mind and top professional people will make the difference. If you are big, you need to be continuously improving your efficiency or somebody else will to take your room in time. Brands can start, grow or fall. What is the key of success? There is no one answer to such a question. Passion, teamwork, competition and constant tension to improvement, specialized supply chain and districts, strong use of technology to connect with districts all over the world. Example, uh, research and development in Italy and production in Brazil. But also other hidden questions are a must. There is one very important detail. Older generation need to work together with young generation, but also need to leave the young ones free to innovate. The past is the history, the respect for tradition, but the future is in the hands and hearts of our young generations. For young designers, it's not easy to start alone. They can usually work for big brands. This is caused by many circumstances. The cost those designers have to support is too high to survive for the long period that is needed to be in the market. Marketing costs are too high, nobody helps them for logistics, distribution, and so on. But uh, we should all remind that to create a mind needs to be free. And markets badly need fantasy of new design to keep going in the future. Regarding a country point of view, what can a district do improve, to improve its presence in the fashion world over time? First, Attract young designers, talented creative minds. Teach them. Create or reinforce your design and fashion schools. Create the right facilities and surrounds and direct them to the right professional factories where they can translate their ideas in real prototypes. Starting to work immediately. Don't leave these young people years before they start to work. In Italy, they get 10 years old, the job, and from 20 to 30, they get tired, the idea disappeared. Let's use this time, this energy, immediately. Support them, take care of, to help them financially, legally, with logistics, with all they need. This energy fantasy will soon boost production, quality, export, and the biggest company around will take advantage, in great competitors. Give them free to concentrate on design, research, integrate them with research and development. Allow them to see, follow, and touch the prototypes to get them involved fully in the process of creation. Be extremely precise, deep, and professional in all the process. From the cloud idea to the prototype, to the pre-industrialization, to production. Be constant in time. Pay attention to everything. Little details in high fashion are as important as the main picture. The most illuminated minds in the world understand how to attract the talents. This will generate more traffic and business in the districts. And this will attract more talented persons. Business will develop around, from shopping to entertainment to tourism. Fashion attracts. 
is one of the most powerful and admired business in the world. Most of people love fashion and energy generated around it is really huge. The benefit is all around it. In terms of export, some countries can have a big percentage of their stable export business from fashion goods, but they should think long term and develop their inside business as more as they can. Inside markets in many countries are growing very well and, to and local top merchandise is well accepted and more affordable compared to the imported goods. This generates a positive competition between imported luxury, usually more exclusive and expensive, and local luxury, more affordable. So shopping experience will be wider and choice much better. Past and future are also important. The right balance of all depends on each of us. And if we want to change the world, each one of us can move a little stone or a mountain. Or just wait other move uh, for them, just don't stop the others. By the way, the fashion world will go farther. I wish you all to go farther together with it.